your voice back? Not much. You might have to lean in. <laughs> How did they do responding after a light day yesterday? Well, it was anything but light. It was just two practices in one, so you go a lot longer. Um, and the reason that we do two days is is not for physical, but for mental, so that you can learn things in doses. Um, and, and I thought, you know, we, we scrimmaged yesterday. It was a good scrimmage, and it was been a good couple of days. Is anyone jumping out right now that are showing some things that you didn't expect? No, no. We have a, you know, we've had our hands on them, you know, all summer. So we have a pretty good idea in, in, in teaching and what guys are working on and. Um, you know, we're together all the time, so it's nothing surprising. Now we're we impressed. Yes, it, you know, certainly impressed that uh, the level of conditioning has jumped already in a couple of days. We're going to continue to push and, and try to run uh, and be a young, athletic, energetic group. Um, so that's been impressive, guys fighting through and, and being athletic. Seeing Bogdanovich back in the gym, obviously come back from New York, give a chance to talk to him and just kind of work his spirits out. Yeah, he's, you know, he's... Smiling for a guy who you know loves to play and loves his teammates, and um, you know he certainly wishes he could be playing. And he's going to try to play faster than he should, and we're going to try to make him wait longer than he should. And uh, just the battle rages on. What are you seeing from Justin, and does he look like he's building on his summer league? Is you know be out there, make shots, and, and uh, be a defender, and continue to get experience. And uh, you know he's a terrific young guy. Is his confidence growing? All of their confidence is growing. The level of just shooting ability on this team compared to uh, even last year, is that something that gives you pretty good encouragement of where things stand for you guys? As far as? Uh, just, it looks like you obviously added some shooting on this roster, and maybe in prior years that may have been something that you kind of lacked a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Belicia has been really good for us, playing the stretch four. Uh, gives us a lot of space uh, on the court, um, and I think you know trying to play faster is for all of us, and especially because our point guard is one of the faster guys in the league. Uh, and playing with space guys um, is to his benefit, and, and is the best thing for us as well. So um, you know, certainly not having Bogdanovich hurts in the in the realm of playmaking and shooting, um, but we're trying to make it up in some other areas. What are some of the challenges in, in increasing the tempo with a young team? Like, what are some of the factors? <laughs> Not taking it out of the net. <laughs> but, you know, really, um, it's just learning to to have that mental toughness that, man, I didn't touch it the last three times. I got to run again, and you want me to run all the way to, you know, whatever. And, and that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, that guys learn to find a role on a team and and we try to help them do that but as you're older it's a lot easier to figure out quicker um, so that's that's one of them um, I think sometimes another challenge when you're running is well gosh darn it I'm open I'm gonna shoot it which we want except that time and score does play it you know I mean like if the other team just scored four times five times in a row it's just a level of experience that young guys know. You know what? I can. I this is a good shot. I can get. I can get a better one in eight seconds. So, uh, and then lastly is the turnovers. When you try to play fast, young teams try to make plays that you want certain guys making or trying to make, and other guys just let it go and let that other guy make that play. Um, so it's turnovers, tough shots, and, and the the mental toughness and fortitude to keep running. That was a really good coach answer. That was a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> You stressed running last year, but you guys were last in pace. What were the difficulties that, that kind of prevented you from doing that? Uh, we did not really stress running. We were we were built a lot different last year, personnel-wise. You look at some of your uh, the guys you have, not just Justin, but uh, not having Bogey. How do you kind of work on that wing position? And who do you get a chance to look at maybe now that you wouldn't have looked at? Uh, you, you still, yeah, good question. You still get to look at the same number of guys, but guys get longer chances to run in practice. Uh, Yogi Ferrell uh, at, at shooting guard, uh, Ben McElmore at shooting guard, small forward. Ben's had a terrific camp. He's played really, really well. So uh, that's encouraging, and, and uh, you know, see how Iman's leg comes along, see what he's able to do uh, going forward. What have you seen when you put Yogi in the backcourt with a guy like Taren? Haven't seen that yet. Yogi? But with Frank, with Frank, 
I'm being honest. Um, so uh, they have been Yogi and Frank have been on the same team generally together and have gives us multiple playmakers. And it's, it's fun. Um, black team was terrific. The team that was in the black yesterday was fantastic in the scrimmage. Uh, ben Macklemore, Yogi, and, and they played free and loose and got up and down the floor, and they're you know. Uh, that that was really encouraging. Uh, so I, I like that, even though that it seems like you're really small. Offensively, you, you can be kind of uh, hard to guard. Can you elaborate on how you're built different? No. Guarding your answer. No. Different? 